Good evening, people. It's John from Veganism Kills at 6.23 p.m. February 11th, I believe. Let me check. Oh, 12th. I found a panacea of information about veganism from the BBC. Several articles, not all of them anti-vegan. Some of them are pro-vegan. I think one out of 20. And it tells you why vegan's IQ is lower than most. Hence the behavior of vegans, mental instability, why they're prone to lie because they just don't understand what they're eating. They can't grasp that their diet is in fact toxic. If you could grasp the fundamentals of reading comprehension, you would know that. Seems like there is a a deficit on that side with vegans. You can read that article here. Oh, this is this this BBC article is a treasure trove. And you'll go down here. Can you feed cats and dogs a vegan diet? Uh, and, and in this case, uh, from all the vets that I've been to now. Okay. The mystery of why there are more women vegans because the marketing of veganism is actually pointed at women. That I could tell you that. Why the vegan diet is not always green. Which milk alternative should we be drinking? Well, I'm drinking milk, so you vegans can sit there and keep drinking your soy till you grow man boobs. Now this one, the hidden biases that drive anti-vegan hatred. Well, first of all, vegans are annoying. And number two, they lie to people. They give them misinformation and the misinformation turns out to get the person that started veganism sick. And there goes your bias right there. A justified bias, I might add. If somebody told me if I eat a diet but nothing but, but, but potato chips, I'll be in perfect health. And I do it and I get sick. And you claim that you're uh, an authority figure. And as far as I know, YouTube doesn't let misin misinformation on the platform. It's got to be. It's got to be. If you're simple-minded. Why vegan junk food may be even worse for your health. Way to go there, vegan gains. Are there health benefits to going vegan? Probably the weight loss, and I think after that, you got to stop. All right. And that's it. So there's a whole bunch of articles here based on veganism. Maybe you got one or two articles that are slightly geared toward the favor of veganism, but most of them, do you really want to play around? Getting brain damage? Uh, I, I wouldn't. I mean, we can honestly, guys, see the effects on most vegans. I, I never seen people make up science or uh, the twisted philosophy or the way they twist words. Well, uh, you know, oxalates are poisonous. Well, you know, this study, what study? What study says oxalates aren't poisonous? Well, most people can endure oxalates. Okay, where's that study that they can endure oxalates? Animals who've been eating pure herbivores die from oxalate poisoning. And then you're going to tell me there's a study out there saying uh, humans can tolerate high levels of oxalates. And then they'll say there's a study out there and I'd say, let me see it. Well, you get crickets. And so again, it's, it's an ideal founded from, as far as I could tell, uh, Seventh-day Adventist. They don't want to harm animals. So the first cases of uh, children being starved to death by their parents 
on the vegan diet was the Seventh Day Adventist. The first case that I was able to trace goes back as far as 1972. So this this isn't something new that's happening. And now it's increasing since more and more people are being talked into this lifestyle. Because it is it is based on the cult. The Seventh day Adventist is a religious cult. And this is how you end up with problems like this, with articles like this, because if you think they're not telling the truth, you gotta prove they're not telling the truth. These are reporters. If you believe they're slandering you, sue them. Let's see, put your money where your mouth is. Um, and I'd like to dedicate this video to Sky, to uh, Tuesday, Char, and Vegan Phobic. Because they'll post the obvious of articles like this from, and from their experience, and they get a lot of shit from these mentally unstable vegans. And I got a lot of ex-vegans tell me I didn't know I was losing my mind on veganism. Thank God I stopped. Look in the comments in all my videos. I talk to a lot of ex-vegans. I have no animosity toward people looking for help. I have animosity toward people looking to harm. And I try to stop them. And I hope everybody appreciates the work I'm doing. Uh, I'm just glad that I, some people are saying thank you. I'm just glad that I was able to help people. It makes worth doing this something worthwhile. And on that note, thank you. And I hope this information helps everybody else out. And I'm out of here.